I'm Enrique Rivas with Polyglass Technical Services, here with another segment in the video series of Polyglass Tech Tips. This video is going to go over how to properly patch a hole or damage in your Polyglass Polyflax SAP, which is a self-adhered self granulated cap sheet. So you get to your job site and you notice you got a hole in your membrane and you got to patch it. So it's really simple to do. You got your hole, you want to make sure that the patch covers the hole at least six inches in every direction. At least six inches this way to this way, either way or all the way around it. So you cut your piece and you always, with a pair of snips, you want to round your corners. You don't want any, any 90 degree corners on your, uh, on your patches. So just kind of line it up, make sure you're centered. You got your six inches all the way around. Mark the outside so you know how far to go with your patching material which in this case, we're gonna show you both methods that we recommend. First one I'm gonna use is PG500. It's available in five, five, five gallon pails, cork tubes, or you can also use PP50, which is our wet dry flashing cement. With the area squared out, you know how far to go with your, with your uh, poly glass PG50. I'm gonna spread it out. with your trowel, just spread it out. You see how it's very easy to spread. Once you've got the patch completely covered in the Polyglass PG500, you're gonna take your patch that you've already cut and remove the release film from the back. Again, making sure that you line it up right in the center, press it in place lightly, and with your roller, you wanna apply some pressure. Because it's an overgranulated condition, you need to press it in place, and that's what the adhesive is for. The adhesive allows the membrane to, to stick to itself. Go around the entire patch, paying close attention to the leading edge of the patch, and hand rolling it, applying pressure evenly to the entire surface. With that patch complete, I'll show you another version using heat instead of adhesive. Same hole, same membrane. You can use another patch, lining it up right to your center. Again, you're ensuring that you have six inches from the center of the repair in every direction. Now, since we're not using adhesive, I'm going to heat it up using an air welder and my roller. The same, it's a simple process. You're hitting it in the back of the SA compound. The purpose of that is they're gonna activate the compound by heating it up. You don't have to bleed it. You don't have to make it bleed out as, a, as if you were torching because you're not using a torch. You're using a hot air welder. Start off in the center and work your way out. Again, to stress that you're not using a lot of heat, you're just using enough to activate the compound and you're pressing it in place as you go. So those are two methods that we use or we recommend for patching RSA products, adhesive or heat. If you have any questions, you can always drop us an email at technical at polyglass.com. Thanks.